Hey lovely people and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about grannies. Granny charging cables and an amazing hack to reduce your electric vehicle charging time. But, and I'm going to say this maybe a dozen times in this video, don't do this at home. Look at me. <laughs> You're dealing with electricity. You'll end up with hair like this. It's highly not recommended and it's totally at your own risk. So I'm a relatively new Zoe Z50 owner and we need to charge the car. We live in France and the public charging network is mainly 22 kilowatt AC chargers for Zoe's. It's fantastic. But we all need to charge at home. And this is the first amazing thing that changes when you're an electric vehicle owner. You realize that you don't have to pump petrol, gasoline, and fill up your tank for 500 miles because every car, unless you're a taxi driver, sits in its parking lot at home, at work, wherever it is, for at least 20 hours a day. So let's use that time to charge the car. Initially, I thought you'd need a high-speed charger to fill up the car in a couple of hours, but you don't. <laughs> Overnight, you're asleep, but the car could be charging. During the day, after you've taken the kids to school or gone shopping, the car could be charging. And this is why the granny plug works really well. In France, we got a free granny plug and a type two public charger cable with our Zoe. I think that's different in other countries, but I recommend you get the so-called granny cable for slow speed charging. This is why, and this is how to make it charge faster at your own risk. So when I looked on the back of the granny charger, there's a lot of writing. And it says, general outlet, 240 volts, 10 amps. Dedicated outlet, whatever that is, 240 volts, 16 amps. 16 amps. What's a dedicated outlet? Well, there is such a thing. It's one of these. And the idea is it's hardwired back to your consumer unit or breaker box. Nice beefy cables are put in by the electrician. It's outside your house and you can pull 16 amps with a granny cable because it's got a magic switch. This part of the granny cable box is smart. It knows if you're plugged into a dedicated outlet. And this is how it works in the expensive, dedicated outlets, there's a magnet. And in your granny cable plug, there's a reed switch, a very easily switched switch. It doesn't switch all the amps, it's just a little relay switch. And if it detects a magnet, it flips the circuit and in the big box, switches from 10 amps to 16 amps. Now, don't do this at home. But all you need to do to switch your granny cable from 10 amps to 16 amps is put a magnet on top of the reed switch. Oh, I didn't say that. Don't do this at home. <laughs> but that's the truth. So I did a test just for you to show that it works. Let's plug in the Zoe with a granny cable with no magnets, just the outdoor outlet at 10 amps. Here's my granny cable plugged into my extension cable, but it's a special extension cable. It's got 2.5 millimeter wires inside it. It's a pro version. And the granny cable says, ready. And here's my Zoe dashboard. Only nine hours and 20 minutes for a full charge. Oh, whoopee do. And here's the bit that you shouldn't be looking at. Uh, cut. No. If you want to take this ridiculous risk as an experiment only, you can put a magnet at the top of the granny plug lined up with the earth prong. Plug it in and watch your house and your car go up in smoke. Now, actually it doesn't, 
but we'll talk about why it doesn't in a minute. And sure enough, green charge light comes on. And just look at this, the magic figure. 535, down from 920. Amazing. So when you're finished, unplug your Zoe. Personally, I recommend charging it only between 20 to 80%. I don't know why, it's supposed to be good for the battery. Also, I think granny cables are rather good because it's a slow battery feed. But correct me if I'm wrong. Now to end this happy Zoe experiment, let me give you some other warnings of why not to do this. We live in France and I think French wiring for homes is slightly different to British ones. The outdoor socket we use to charge the car is hardwired into our breaker box. Inside the consumer unit, there's its own breaker switch and 30 milliamps earth fault protection flip switch. So I feel pretty good in France that this is okay as an experiment only. In Britain, and I am not an electrician, what you don't really want to do is overload a so-called ring main, the system that was introduced to save copper after World War II. France didn't do that for some reason. Because other things might be on that ring main as well as your Zoe, and you could blow a fuse or worse, cause a fire. I guess there's a European safety protocol about these dedicated sockets because you need an electrician basically to put them in with hefty wires back to its individual breaker. And really, if you don't have that, don't do it. And uniquely in our case, and not in your case, we have an outlet or a socket outside which is on its own breaker. So it was reasonably safe for me only to try. So that's my overview of the dedicated socket granny plug malarkey. You didn't hear it from me. You saw some weird bloke on YouTube talking about it. Now, honestly, get a dedicated circuit, charge your Zoe safely, don't burn your house down. Be safe because you need to go to the garden center at the weekend. I guess the truth is out there.